super tasters are basically people who experience more intense taste than do others. If you're sitting across the table having breakfast and there's a sugar bowl on the table, you taste the sugar bowl and you're a super taster. I'm not a super taster. I'm going to be getting about one third of the sweetness that you are. And that's enough to really make for dietary differences because people eat based on what they can experience. Um, one of the things we've learned about super tasters that's particularly fun is that super tasters get more pleasure from their favorite foods and more displeasure from their least favorite foods. Super tasters, we know something of what it is, makes them different and one of them is anatomy. That is, if you look at the tongue of a super taster, that tongue will not look the same as the tongue of someone who's not a super taster. When the subject comes in, after we take a quick look, we paint the tongue with a, essentially a Q-tip dipped in blue food coloring from the supermarket. We paint the tongue, person swallows a couple times to distribute the dye. And when they stick their tongue out, we then put a flat piece of plastic on it so we can flatten the tongue for photography. We have the subject sitting in a dental chair. The microscope comes in, takes a very careful look, takes a picture, and the picture goes right into a computer so we can have a permanent copy of it. And this will allow us later to print these out, to count. We actually count an area that's the size of a reinforcer. You'd put a notebook paper. It has about a six millimeter hole in the middle. We place that hole so that one edge of the hole touches the midline. The other edge of the hole is touching the edge of the tongue at the tip. So you can see how the place you put it is absolutely defined. And we count the fungiform papilla on one side and then we count the fungiform papilla on the other side. And as you count them, the best super taster we've ever studied had 60 fungiform papilla in that little tiny circle, six millimeters across. One of the things that's fun to do when you're doing super taster research is to get an idea of how the incidence of super tasting varies around the world. Typically in uh, the white Caucasians have the lowest number of uh, super tasters and men the very lowest of that. In other words, women are more likely than are men to be super tasters and around the world almost any country other than the US, France, Spain, some of these countries, any other country is going to have more super tasters.